What is up, guys? Welcome to a brand new series. It's 2019 and we are going back to sport. Growing up, this was one of my all time favorite games. I was addicted to it, I was obsessed with it. I just love this game so much. It was so much fun. It was a great idea and I had a lot of fun playing it. So now I thought I'd go back and check it out again. This is gonna be an entire series going from cell stage, hopefully all the way to space stage. And as a kid, I never even beat space stage. So hopefully we can beat that as well. I, I am lucky enough that I actually own all the expansion packs, I believe. So we'll be able to use those as well. When it's off at cell stage, and we'll go hopefully every, uh, every episode or two will be the following stage so if you don't like cell stage this might not be your episode if you want to see creature stage or tribal stage civilization stage which is arguably my all-time favorite and then uh then space stage we have all the expansions so we'll be messing around with that and yeah so we're gonna start off as an herbivore i guess and uh we'll, we'll go from there i sounds good to me we're gonna go from herbivore then i think we'll probably try carnivore in the creature stage we'll do normal I really like uh, I like the herbivore in this. Carnivore is cool as well, but I like herbivore just because I kind of get to swim around and do my thing, you know. I get a I get a love life. We just gotta make sure we're flying pretty quick. If you guys play this game, please comment down below like your favorite stage and what you guys would like to see throughout this series. If there's anything specific you want to see, we can definitely make that happen. I think most of these videos will be uploaded day by day and I'll probably record each day so you guys will get an opportunity to respond to the content before I release the following episode or potentially even before I record the following episode. I'm just pumped to be coming back into sport and checking it out again. I think this game came out like 10 years ago, I think it said 2008, which is pretty crazy. I, uh, I was surprised when I found out this game had 1080p. I, I don't know why, I, I assumed it wouldn't, but I guess, uh, I guess Spore was... I guess 1080p was there in 2008. Welcome to the tide pool throughout Spore. The choices you make impact your future. Okay, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your progress bar. So if you guys never played this game, it was a really cool game. It was like this creature simulation game. The, the big deal was they said you could do all these crazy things in this game. And it got like a lot of news press too. It's obviously by Maxis. I don't think they were owned by EA at this point. Or maybe they were. Not 100%. But it was owned by Maxis. And... News like picked up saying you could do all these crazy things. You could raise animals and you could change worlds. And it was supposed to be almost it. I felt like they were pitching as an educational game, which was so odd. It was so hyped by everyone. Everyone talked about how good it was. But um, obviously, I, I don't think it did as good as everyone thought it would. Not that it did poorly to any extent of the imagination. But I think they thought this was going to be like the next Sims, you know. And uh, that was that did not end up being the case. It did not end up having like any predecessors, didn't have anything come after it. It was just this and it was all done. Which is too bad, because I would, Spore 2, can, I'd be down, I'd be so down. A Spore 2 would be oh, right up my alley. I love these life simulation games, as you can tell by my channel. Life simulation, management, all that type of things, all that jazz, you know, is just like my favorite thing to do and play. All right, let's uh, let's head over to our mate and get some spike boys on us for a little bit of defense. Make sure we're not eating up too quick. If you guys haven't seen this game, which I'm hoping all you guys have, but maybe you haven't, every time you mate, you can adjust your uh, your species. So you just want to make sure you don't die. Like that's kind of like the most important thing. But like if I put these spikes on it on my spore, which I'm obviously going to do, it'll protect me from being bit from the front, and I can also like kill people. I can kind of stab them. It's, it's helpful to have some sort of weapon, even though I am a uh, a vegetarian. I can't, I can't think of the term. Herbivore. I'm an herbivore. So uh, not super duper important, but it, it's it's a good idea to protect yourself. Otherwise, you're going to get killed real quick by the, uh, by the big monsters. You think even into the wild these days, these days, forever, even animals that aren't all that violent uh still have some sort of defense mechanism even flowers do like flowers smell bad or taste bad or whatever have different colors you know in the in the real world so uh me doing the same thing is probably the best idea sure oh that one actually didn't have any so if i kill someone they'll drop like uh 
like mouths and fins and stuff if they have something you don't already have. And I guess that guy had nothing I didn't already have, which is too bad. No, no, no! Ugh, you jerks. So many herbivores in here. Everyone's eating all my all my grass. All this algae, I'm assuming. What you want to watch out for is the big carnivores. I still don't have like fast swimmies. <laughs> that that's good terminology right there for you. Fast swimmies. So uh <laughs> yeah. I couldn't outswim the fast ones, the speed demons. And there is some current in here. Which will uh, push me around a little bit. Ooh, dude, look at all that good food. Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Oh, wait, that guy has a fast swimmies. Hold up. I might be able to snag some. No. See, too quick. Too quick for me. Get, get off that plant. I want that. Nice. Fast swimmies. Jeez, I can't believe I called it that. Right, we're still looking around for a little bit more algae here. As soon as we can get just a little bit more and hopefully kill one of these doodads. I think they're called boosters. And we kill one of the boosters, we can set ourselves up to uh, swim a little bit quick and hopefully level up a little bit faster. So it wants us to collect six upgrade parts, which is 100% not going to happen. There's only like six in this entire in entire uh, cell stage. It's really odd that they want you to collect so many in this little stage. Once you max out this bar, you pretty much upgrade into the next stage. So the first stage is... Uh, is obviously cell. Then you have creature, uh, tribal, then civilization. And civilization is probably one of my probably one of my favorites. The thing about civilization is it's like a uh, kind of like I, I don't want to say civ because then you're going to expect to be really in depth, and and it's not that in depth. Like this is kind of like Snake. If you ever played Snake growing up, the very silly game where you eat something, you extend yourself, and that's it. There's not much more control over that. Oh, I stabbed that one, but he didn't die, I guess. See, they're telling me to call for mate, but I haven't collected any uh, any new cell parts that I'd like. We might be able to kill that guy. If I can kill that, this guy here, I could set myself... Ooh. Yeah, see, they're way too quick. Too fast for me. Wait, did he die? Is he almost dead? I don't know if I stabbed him or if I... No! Wait, I could probably get him. I could probably get him. Nice. All right, maybe we could call for a mate now and just make ourselves a little bit bigger. Wait, I'm worried about this guy coming up on me. Okay, call for a mate. Call for a mate. No, no, no. Don't bite me. No, 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 no. Get away. Get away. Don't kill me. Guys, defend me. Someone get on the way. Oh, my God. I'm going to get eaten. I'm gonna feel like a noob if I get eaten in cell stage. I'm I'm like a baby. Pivot. See, I don't have all that much pivoting yet. Ah, ah, yes, yes, make an egg. Whew. So on. Uh, <laughs> I almost died. I was on eggs. You actually respawn into a new area. Don't ask me why. It's just how this game works. So like when I turn into an egg, it's gonna. Move my location. These uh, make me a little bit quicker. Uh, same quickness, I'm sorry, but a little bit uh, faster on them turn, boys. On them swing arounds. So that's nice. I think, yeah. So I said this earlier, and I think we're going to stick to it. I was thinking a little bit more about it. Yeah, we're going to go into carnivore for the creature stage. Each stage gives you a special ability in the following stage. Which is unfortunate because I won't really be able to use what I earned from this, but that's okay. It's not that important. It's not that beneficial. But uh, I, I like Carnivore a lot in Creature Stage because we got to do a little bit of fighting. And the fighting's interesting. It's, it's something you have to see firsthand. Which I, I want to make sure you guys see everything that I love so much about this game growing up in this playthrough. Like, So if you never did play this game or... If it's been a while and you want to get that nostalgia trip like I do, you might be able to find something in this that you don't remember or that you do remember as a kid and you can enjoy that through my watching. You can still get the game, actually. It's on Steam still. It's still 20 bucks, but I 
If you never play this game, $20 is nothing for this game because you will get hours of entertainment out of this game. Thing about purchasing games, this is kind of like my uh, my mentality on buying games here. If you guys want to know it, my my time is worth like a dollar an hour of good time. So if I get a $60 game, I better get 60 hours out of said game. And I, uh, I feel the same about games like this. So $20, will I get 20 entertaining hours out of this game? 100%. To actually beat this game, I don't think the game takes too long to beat overall. Um, I, I don't recall exactly, but I feel like you could probably go from creature stage all the way up to beating this game in maybe 20 hours, probably a little bit more. Space stage does take a while, and I'm assuming this series will be... I keep thinking that's ouchy because of the way it looks. No! No, no, no! Oh my god, I died. Don't... Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I, I think you could probably beat this game in 20 hours, but there's a lot of like little things you gotta do after, so if you like building, you could spend a crap ton of time building. Like, way too much time built it, to be honest with ya. If, if building is your cup of tea, and it's not mine, I don't enjoy building in anything. Even in Sims, I kind of get bored of building. You spend a lot of time building. I'm trying to think of what else you could do. You can spend a lot of time in the different stages. You can spend a lot of time trying to make relationships and stuff in this game. But if you just want to boost through it, that's also possible. 100% possible. Yo, we got... No, that's spit poison. I wanted the jets. So some of these guys have those jets. You saw them earlier on the booster, I think was the name of the species. It was called booster. And look at this thing underneath. It's huge. But the boosters are probably the best thing for any creature, honestly, because they really get you moving and you gotta avoid the enemies. Which is exactly what you want to do. No, 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 no! Swim! Oh my god, how did you dodge that spike? I don't recall exactly if early on, if low levels give you, make it easier. Like, I got hit twice and I die, pretty much, is the, uh, the death rate. I'm not sure if easy makes that easier because i always i think i've always played this game on easy whenever i play single player games i just like enjoying enjoying them to the most of my potential you know and uh playing them on easy is usually my way especially with management games you know as long as the game doesn't get too easy so like if i'm playing a game and i'm having no struggle whatsoever it's probably too easy Like, I should probably die once or twice throughout this playthrough, if not if more than once or twice. Ooh. Ooh. Alright, we're almost there. So, our bottom bar is going to be when we get our cell stage. We are, like, just about there. This little game mode's kind of fun. I felt like they could have done a little bit more with cell stage, but I don't know what. Like, I don't have any recommendations, but it feels a little dumbed down, which is okay. You know, maybe a little dumbed down isn't bad for cell stage. You're only in this for maybe a, maybe 20 minutes, a half hour. It's not like you're in this all game and you kind of cruise through it. I think creature stage will probably be like, uh, probably like an hour long. Tribal stage will be about an hour. I think Civ will probably be about an hour and a half too. And then you could go on space stage for a while. I, once again, I've never beaten space stage. Not exactly sure how you do beat it. I will probably watch a playthrough to figure out how to beat Space Stage. Because I never beat it as a kid. That's probably like maybe 12 or 13 when this came out. And uh, never beat Space Stage. I, I always tried and I think, uh, I think I either got bored of it or I felt like I conquered enough. Because Space Stage, you're pretty much taking over areas, blowing up planets if you want. Maybe creating trade routes and making allies, getting into wars. It's it's a pretty intense uh it's pretty intense and in-depth uh, game mode, but it does take a while. You're supposed to get to not to spoil anything, but there, there's like a main goal obviously to it all. I'll try my best not to spoil anything actually. I, I won't say what it's all about, but hopefully you guys like it, because I sure do. Thank you. 
Some may call a mate, but I, I can honestly get out of here faster if I just uh, just eat like six more plants. I'm just not seeing any. Let's just call the mate. It'll respawn where I'm... Oh, what? What the heck? Were those eggs? I've never seen eggs before. What? Oh, no. Alright, well, we're still almost, uh, almost there. Ooh. Oh, dude, that, those were the boosters. We might be able to use those in a... Uh, were they? Did I get it? I don't know. Just need like one or two, like not one or two. I need like five or six more and then I will be, uh, dude, these little ones are killers. Get me out of here. Why are they so much quicker than me? Turn around. All right, if I get this, come on, just one or two more snacks. One more snack. So there's the jet finally, but it's it's a little late. We're about to uh we're hopefully gonna leave the stage now. I'm just going so slow. So the water got the pool got bigger with the uh with the upgrade. So like I'm a bigger cell, but I still have the same crappy little bins. Uh Okay, one more, one more. It's all right. It's no big deal. Maybe I should, maybe I should listen to the game. Who knows? There it is. This is my last snack. There, right there. Don't touch it. Boom. There we go. And this is actually where we're going to end this uh, this episode. I really appreciate you guys tuning on in and watching. We're going to just build this guy after into the next episode. We completed it in 2 billion and 400 million years. We got out of cell stage, which really isn't that bad. I think I, I did another video for this. And I think it was 2.8. So it was like 2 billion, 800 million. So this was a little bit quicker. I only died twice. One, two. I only died twice, I think, which is nice, but it tells you about like what goes on in each thing. Sparty Dot killed two cells. He killed two cells. I collect the spikes. It's a pretty cool timeline. And as you get into these other stages, you'll get the rest of the timelines. I apologize. I almost broke my coffee cup. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys all later. Please look down below, hit that follow button, share the series, and I hope you guys enjoy the next episode as well. Catch you guys in the next episode.